3D modeling is an increasing demand for eye-catching illustration in branding and advertising, and of course in product design and architecture, where a realistically rendered preview is the best way to get an idea across. As with any new workflow, it can be difficult to know where to start, especially with various software options on the market. If you're already using Adobe Creative Cloud for 2D work, you might have been intrigued by the Substance 3D suite sitting there in your app manager. So we thought we'd open it up and see how it all works. Now it's worth mentioning up front that Adobe Substance 3D Modeler is currently Windows only. So sculpting from scratch still needs to be done outside of Substance if, like me, you're using Mac. But there's plenty you can do with the other four apps, plus a huge library of ready-made models in Substance 3D assets. So let's get started. Substance 3D Sampler is a great starting point if you want to take materials from the real world into your 3D models. Lighting irregularities are automatically smoothed out, and familiar tools like the Clone Stamp let you refine your images further. A photo taken square on with natural seams makes pattern tiling easier, but the tools are intuitive and the previews responsive, so you can work with pretty much anything. There are plenty of preset materials and filters, and a layers panel for combining them. I especially like the height controls that give a texture loads of depth. Another fun feature helps you generate 3D objects from a set of photographs. Again, you have to be conscious of how you capture the object with plenty of different angles, but the result is pretty remarkable. My impression of Sampler is that you can reach some really interesting results without the steep learning curve often associated with 3D. And anything you create here can be exported as a PBR texture for use in other applications. Designer is full of much finer controls for editing or creating bespoke materials from scratch, which, unlike in Sampler, can be previewed on custom meshes. The node-based interface will be familiar if you've dabbled with other 3D software, but can be daunting to newcomers. I actually think Substance makes this side of things easy to digest by containing this part of the workflow in its own app, so you aren't overwhelmed with an interface that does everything at once. If this is new to you, each node in a graph represents an action performed in sequence that has a different effect on the output. These might include pattern generators, transforms, blends, and more complex functions like mathematical operators. You can make a graph as simple or complex as you like, to either recreate a real-life surface, or make something striking and stylized. Designer isn't something that most people could simply open for the first time and start working in. At least it wasn't for me. But Adobe's website has a bunch of great videos that walk through the various tools here, and in each of the other apps, for all levels of experience. Once you're happy with the material in Designer, you can package it up and take it to any other 3D software. But staying within Substance, the workflow is impressively seamless. I especially like the Exposed Parameters feature, which lets you choose variables from one graph to remain editable in another, or even outside of Designer, which takes us to our next app. Painter is all about combining models and materials and adding finer details. This is where meshes are baked before custom or preset materials are applied to different areas. I love the Smart Materials panel, which is full of ready-made textures in the form of a fully editable layer set, giving you a realistic finish in an instant, but letting you fine-tune even further. Some details can only be achieved with a more hands-on approach, and again there are loads of brush presets in Painter if you aren't bringing in your own. Switching between automated and manual tools allows you to polish or unpolish exactly how you want, and combining the different effects in the Layers panel feels familiar as an Adobe user. You can even bring in ABR brushes that you use in Photoshop. A couple of the keyboard and mouse controls for moving the model about are different to Designer, which takes a bit of getting used to. But once you do, this is the fun part. And because this is what Paint is intended for, again you don't feel weighed down by an interface crammed with other tools that take you out of the zone. Images and other models can be added as decals, and textures are really brought out by editable environment previews. And then of course, all of these tweaks can be exported for use in your rendering software. There's even a handy Send to Stager option. Once you have all the models and materials you need for a project, you want to arrange them all together and present them in the best light. Stager does that, and much more. If you're used to Adobe Dimension, you'll feel at home here. Basic geometric models can be created from scratch or imported from elsewhere, including Adobe Substance 3D assets, which we'll get onto in a minute. Materials can be added, adjusted, and previewed instantly, or switch over to ray tracing for an even clearer picture of how the final render will appear. There are some really nice features like Collision, which stops assets overlapping, and cameras for saving angles and adding depth of field. I especially like the lighting tools. Everything's easy to customise whether you're placing lights manually, choosing from presets, or importing custom environments. If you need to set your models against a 2D background, Stager uses Adobe Sensei AI to automatically match up the perspective and lighting, and you can dynamically send out to Photoshop for any edits. 
And finally, a scene can be exported as a flat or layered image or a simple turntable animation, which is a great way to present a model and maybe a hint at where Substance could be going next. As a bonus, Substance 3D Assets is an online library of thousands of materials, models and environments. These save all the time of creating complex 3D objects from scratch, and Painter and Stager have quick links to get you to the library straight from the app. The search tools are quick and easy, and the range is comprehensive whether you're looking for building materials, natural flourishes, or everyday product shapes. The Substance Suite is an accessible way to make, customise and export 3D models without feeling overwhelmed by complexity due to its modular format. So newcomers or those already familiar with other Adobe apps might find it the best place to start. As such, it's a great way to bring 3D into any 2D workflow that could benefit, right from product marketing to interior design. I'd love to see Modeler come over to macOS soon to complete the toolset, but as we've seen, there's an incredible amount that can be done without it, and we've only scratched the surface here. So if you're thinking about expanding your skills into a third dimension, and Adobe Substance 3D looks like the right fit, get in touch and we'll talk you through the options.